origin of the universe is the origin of everything. Multiple scientific theories, plus creation myths from around the world, have tried to explain its mysterious genesis. However, the most widely accepted explanation is the Big Bang Theory. The universe began as a hot and infinitely dense point. Only a few millimeters wide, it was similar to a supercharged black hole. Then, the solar system came into being about 4.5 billion years ago when a cloud of interstellar gas and dust collapsed, resulting in a solar nebula, a swirling disk of material that collided to form the solar system. The solar system is located in the Milky Way's Orion star cluster. Only 15% of stars in the galaxy host planetary systems, and one of those stars is our own Sun. It was born when a cloud of dust and gas, known as a solar nebula, collapsed. And in the middle of this formation, matter condensed into a burning ball of gas that became our Sun. The Sun's fiery nature, along with a tremendous gravitational pull and an extensive magnetic field, helped it to become the heart of our solar system. Because of this mass, the Sun has a great pull on the fabric of space, creating a gravitational force that causes nearby planetary bodies to be drawn toward it. This gravitational pull allows the Sun to hold together a system of eight planets, potentially dozens of dwarf planets, at least 170 moons, and countless comets and asteroids. Revolving around the Sun are eight planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and Jovian. Terrestrial planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are primarily made of rocky material. Their surfaces are solid, they don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. The smallest and closest to the Sun is Mercury, which has the shortest orbit in the solar system at about three Earth months. Venus is the hottest planet, with temperatures of up to 867 degrees Fahrenheit due to an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and extensive lava flows. Next to this world of fire is a world of water, Earth. The water systems on this planet help create the only known environment in the universe capable of sustaining life. The last of the terrestrial planets, Mars, might have also supported life about 3.7 billion years ago when the planet had a watery surface and moist atmosphere. Beyond the four terrestrial planets of the inner solar system lie the Jovian planets of the outer solar system. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, and the ice giants also contain rock, ice, and a liquid mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four Jovian planets have multiple moons, sport ring systems, have no solid surface, and are immense. The largest Jovian is also the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Nearby is Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet. Its signature rings are wide enough to fit between Earth and the Moon, but are barely a kilometer thick. Past Saturn are the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The slightly bigger of these ice giants, Uranus, is famous for rotating on its side. Next to Uranus is Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system and also one of the coldest. Orbiting the terrestrial planets is the asteroid belt, a flat disk of rocky objects full of remnants from the solar system's formation. On Earth and on some of the other planets, the Sun's magnetic field interacts with their atmospheres, resulting in beautiful auroras. Despite its size and strength, the Sun will not last forever. In about 6.5 billion years, it will run out of its hydrogen fuel, expand to envelop Mercury, Venus, and even Earth, and then collapse into a small star known as a white dwarf. In the meantime, the Sun will continue to play a critical role in the system that bears its name. The Sun's protective magnetic field, tremendous gravitational pull, and ability to create vast amounts of energy will protect, contain, 
and give life to our solar system.